well, every landscape design practice needs some sort of logo. And uh, I thought we might develop a logo and then we can pop it into the title block. What I've done is draw a circle and then a line from the centre of the circle somewhere near out to the outside. And then I've drawn an ellipse. So let's pick up properties and have a look at it. It's an ellipse. You'll notice if we come down here that it's filled and has a border and the border colour has been set by layer, whereas the fill has been set green. So now we want to make the logo a little more interesting. So let's select the three ellipses and what we're going to do is to mirror them so I can right click and pick mirror and you know that if you hold the shift key down while you're doing this and pick the base of that line and the end of that line as a mirror point then the three objects at the bottom get mirrored to the top now we can pick all of those and copy pick rotate and we'll rotate around the center point there and again if we hold our shift key down we can rotate and make what I hope will be a relatively interesting logo and at this point we can erase the line so there's the logo for this design practice to turn it into a block that we can use and scale up easily let's wrap a border around it and create a block and we'll call it landscape practice logo and as a base point we'll pick in the center of the logo we could put a description in there if we like and we'll okay it so now it's it's able to be selected in one go and then moved and put in position say there and we can eliminate the block so our, our title block is taking shape a little we have our client name address details in there and the company name contact details and so on are in this little square here we've got drawing number one I would prefer to change that to drawing file number and I'd probably decrease the size of it a little so let's do that it's in a style called Arial 250. Let's make its height 350 because we want to stay to the drawing standards of, in this case, the Australian environment. So we'll call this drawing file name, I think. Put caps on, file name, and OK it. And we can eliminate that one. Hmm. Too long, isn't it? It would be much simpler to take it again and pick and just use the, the term file name, which gives us more space there in which to put it. So we've got some text in here. I'm not even sure that we need a, a, a phone number up there. Let's delete that because we've got our phone number down here, the office phone and the mobile number down here in the in this area. So we could um, use our text align tool if we wanted. So modify align text, pick all this text and that piece of text, right click and left align and we'll pick that point there. Now things align. So certainly our title block is taking shape with its new logo. By the way, that logo we can put into our um, into our symbol library, and perhaps we can show you how to do that in the next video in this series.